Okay, so in this video, I will do some testing using Quen 2.5 Coder, that is LLM from Quen 2.5 family that has been fine-tuned for coding purpose. And here is the Olama page for Quen 2.5 Coder model. So it has a uh, two version, uh, 1.5b and 7b. And yeah, you can read this. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. First of all, I'm doing this testing on Google Colab. So we need to install Olama and the model and also install additional libraries. So first, let me just launch uh, Colab X term. So pip install Colab X term. Oh yeah, I need to change this runtime to use GPU. Okay, connecting. Okay. Okay, done. Next. Uh, this step is actually the same as previous video where I explain how to run LLM models in Google Colab. So next is load xt Colab next term. Run this. Okay, next. Let's uh, launch this XTERM. Okay, next we need to install Olama. So I'm copying this command and paste this and hit enter. Installing Olama. Okay, and then let's install the model. So first, Olama uh, serve, and then uh, the model. So let's just uh, use 7b, 7b version. Paste this, and okay, I'm not gonna use run. I'm gonna use uh, pull. Let's run this and we wait. Okay, so sometimes if you are stuck on this uh, process where it says, you know, the name of the GPU and available uh, VRAM, you can just press Control C to get out of that process and you can run the same command, the previous command again and hit enter and then it will automatically pull the model. So yeah, if you're stuck on that process, just uh, get out of that process and then you try to run the same uh, command as the previous command and it will uh, download the model right away. So now we wait to download the model.
okay it's done now let's uh let's install additional library first of all i want to install uh pip install olama this is for a uh, python library and then i also want to install widgets so pip install uh apy widgets and run this okay next uh i already prepared code for us to test the model so uh, let me just copy and paste this uh, right away okay so this is the uh the code so i import uh olama import ipy widgets i'm use widgets here and i also want to display the results or response in markdown so first of all i create a function here to get the llm response here i'm using the model quen 2.5 coder model it is the 7b version okay and then i create a text area this is using widgets text area for user input because uh if we use uh for coding purpose we want this to have a multi-line input okay okay next uh i create an output area for displaying the response and here i create the function to handle button click and generate response and here i want to display the response as markdown okay as markdown and yeah lastly you want to create a button for separating the prom set up a button click event and display the input area button and output area okay so let's just run this code okay so there we have it this is a text area this is a multi-line right this is multi-line and we also have the submit button so uh here um here, if you go to the block spot for Quen 2.5 coder, so it says, uh, maybe it's easier to read this. So yeah, this model can do code generation, code reasoning, and code fixing. So we're gonna test these three, uh, three things, okay, in the model. So let's just do that. So first of all, we want to try, um, for code reasoning okay so let's try with an easy one let's try with an easy one i will copy the, the question okay so yeah about the python code for sorting olympic scoreboard four columns country name gold medal silver medal bronze medal for each country and sort the cost scoreboard by descending values starting from gold silver and bronze sequentially okay this is an easy one so let's just try this Okay, so this is the answer, and let's see. So it uses pandas. Okay, this is the data. Okay, sorting. Okay, okay, and print the sorted data frame. Okay, so I think uh, the answer is correct here at the output. And the model manage to answer this correctly by using sorting and the sorting is yeah pretty much correct so it sort from gold and then silver and then the bronze okay so okay I think this is correct let's uh, move on to the second question uh, this time I want to test for code reasoning so let me just copy and paste the uh, question okay so here i have a python function here okay you can read this is 
you can do this if you want simple and here I have three questions so I explain with the function this what will be the output if the function if array has this array and target six and I want to identify fix any issues with the function if there are any okay so yeah let's just run this so in this question uh, I ask the model three different question okay let's see if the model can answer uh, those three questions okay 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 there are three uh, answers here the fair function is designed blah 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 or input the target six so yeah it is correct huh okay there are no issues uh -uh. Okay, this was the time of generation any service. Okay. Okay. It's in first. Okay. Okay, so I think the answer is pretty much correct and the model managed to answer those three questions I ask in one single prompt. Okay. In one single prompt. Okay. Okay, uh, let's move on to the last question. So this is about uh, code fixing. Code fixing. Let's copy and paste this. Okay, so this is a little bit uh, different. Where uh, here, I'm not using I'm not using Python. Uh, I ask this regarding SQL instead of Python. Okay. And I also ask two questions here in one single prompt. Okay, let's see. Okay, the bug in SQL query. Okay. Where clause. Okay. How to fix the query? To fix the query, we need to ensure that subquery only considers cells of within the same department. Okay, we can achieve this by including a join with the department's double in our main query. Okay, so okay, so this is the answer, but I think this is not in a uh, proper writing SQL. Okay, this is just uh, like a standard paragraph. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think okay, I think this is the one with the correct answer. Okay, this is the one with the correct answer, right? Okay. Okay, so I think the answer is also correct and the model managed to answer both of the question. However, I think this is with the writing. <laughs> this is, uh, you, you should not write the SQL query like this, right? Okay, however, I think this is pretty much right. Okay, so I think that's it for my testing for Quen 2.5 Core LLM model. So far, I think the questions I ask for the model is easy or maybe uh, medium type level of difficulty and yeah uh, the model so far is able to answer those easy and medium level type of questions but of course if you see in the blog post of quen 2.5 coral model this model lies um, i think in the middle of the spectrum for llm that can do coding type related task and yeah uh, the gpt 4.0 still performs better of course now, I think this model is useful if you want to have an assistant in coding, especially for easy to medium coding task. But if you need more powerful model, you probably need to get the uh, 32 billion model. I don't know if this is model if available or not. At the time of recording this, f in this video, there isn't 32 billion model, okay? So I think that's it for this video. I hope that helps and thank you very much.